ProPresenter has released version 7.19 and it brings new stability after its four months in betas with both the private and public power users. These awesome people have been working hard to work out the bugs and find issues in this new release. Hi everybody, I'm Nathan from Crazy Amazing Designs. ProPresenter is a platform that I know very well. That is one reason that I create these training videos for it right here on YouTube. But I also do lighting, audio systems, so go ahead and consider subscribing. ProPresenter version 19 introduces a couple of new features, starting with the new media rendering engine. I was not gonna do a video at all introducing version 19, but this rendering engine has caused me to have second thoughts. I hope my video thumbnail well represents this issue, but no, ProPresenter is not at all broken. It's just rendering each graphic to give it the best chance of looking good. But at first glance, not being able to see the media makes a person think that ProPresenter is broken. If you are seeing this as your thumbnail instead of your contents thumbnail, note that this is ProPresenter working in the background to improve rendering of graphics across ProPresenter. When you drag media into the media bin, a temporary thumbnail will appear before the media can be rendered and its own thumbnail be shown. This takes place once per file, which helps with using disk space and processing power most efficiently. In the top right corner of ProPresenter, some things have been moved around, so looks and live capture are now on the other side of the audience and stage display trigger on and off buttons. This is to make room for the new status and notifications icons that are now on the right side. Inside the status icon, we can pause the media manager. Inside this status indicator, it also shows us information about the graphics rendering. Pause was added as an option to help minimize transition issues with this new system, as ProPresenter has to do this one-time regeneration of all thumbnails. What pause primarily does is temporarily suspends this generation task. The next thing that has been introduced is the new notifications display that has been added so that users can see important information about their account. The other big update to ProPresenter version 19 is the new cleanup unlinked media feature. All video and image files that are used by ProPresenter have a local copy made and that live in the assets folder inside of your documents folder. Here is the documents folder. Here is the ProPresenter folder. Here is the media assets folder. And as you can imagine, this folder can easily grow to be very large after months and years. Yes, you could go through and be like, I think we can delete this video and that image looks old. Practically though, your best bet to remove old files would be just to list them from largest to smallest and then delete the old largest ones. The small stuff is just gonna pile up and it just kinda is what it is. But ProPresenter version 19 now has a new feature called Cleanup Unlinked Media. This can be found in ProPresenter, Settings, Media, click the clean up media button and it'll give you a choice. Are you sure you wanna clean up unlinked media? With this pop-up, it'll give you the option to move detected files to a specific folder or to the trash. So let's talk about how this works. In the media tab, it tells us very clearly that this function will delete all media from the media assets folder that is not referenced in any presentations, playlists, themes, props, macros, or masks. This means that by running the tool, you will automatically get rid of a lot of files, but to maximize the saving of hard drive space, we will want to do some cleanup ourselves in ProPresenter before we run this tool. Let's look at that list and start with presentations, which are stored in the library. Presentations can be moved to playlists in order to easily organize a service or event. That way your operator just has to click to the next item in the playlist versus figuring out what is next in the program. Playlists contain presentations. So at my church, our presentation computer, we have a lot of old playlists from past weeks, months, maybe years. This tool is gonna to remove every file that is not linked to a presentation in the library or a playlist. So we should delete old playlists in order to properly delete old media files. Deleting old playlists is easy, but playlists just contain links to presentations, 
So we need to go through and delete the old presentations from the library. That way we can maximize our savings. Determining the best way to do this might be different for everybody. If you have sermon presentations that you constantly name the same thing with a date each week, it should be super easy to go into your library and select all of them and delete them. I'll leave you with this. So be sure to share in the comments how many gigabytes of content you managed to remove from your assets folder. I saw over 40 gig removed from our computer. Thank you so much for watching this ProPresenter version 19 update video. At Crazy Amazing Designs, I train and equip leaders to do church tech and event production with excellence. I do offer a one-on-one -on -one training coaching for ProPresenter and other topics for beginners or experienced users. So if you're interested in this training, then sign up on the website, crazyamazingdesigns.com slash training. See you in the next one, bye.